The RN700S is a powerful tri-band Wi-Fi 7 router with a coverage of 3500 square feet. If you're looking for a top router that can handle a 10 gigabit internet connection, you've most definitely found it. But how is the setup? And is the router with so many high-end features hard to use? In this video, we're breaking down how to set up the router in your home, how to set it up via the app, and how to use it. The first thing you need to know about the R700S is that it's a big boy. It stands nearly a foot tall and weighs over 3.5 pounds, making it the largest and heaviest router we've reviewed on this channel. Since it's larger than the average router, you may need to place it somewhere different than your current router, especially if your current router is in a tight space like a bookshelf. Size aside, this router is not hard to set up at all. The included power supply slots in easily and stays secure. The router also comes with a Category 6 Ethernet cable, which goes on a yellow 10 gigabit Ethernet port. Before you flip the router around, you'll want to press the power button located on the back to start it up. You'll also notice the Recess Reset button, a common router feature that's handy when you run into any trouble. On the front of the router, you'll notice just two buttons, the LED toggle button and the WPS button. The LED toggle button lets you toggle the LEDs on or off, which is useful if you find the lights too bright and distracting. The WPS button you might be more familiar with, you can press it to connect the device without entering a password. If you need additional help with the setup or want to know about all the buttons and ports, check out the included paperwork. Now that your router is all hooked up and the lights are flickering, it's time to download the app and get started. The Netgear Nighthawk RS700S uses Netgear's Nighthawk app. It's available on both iOS and Android devices. After downloading the app, you'll want to open the sidebar and select the Setup New Nighthawk System. This will prompt you to select your product, which is, in this case, a Wi-Fi router. Then it will ask you to scan the QR code sticker on top of your router. This sticker also includes the name of the router and the password. Doing this will speed up the process. Before connecting to the router, the app will walk you through how to set it up to ensure it's powered on and properly hooked up to the internet. After continuing, you'll have to wait roughly 3 minutes for the router to power on, which feels like an eternity. After powering up, it might be another minute or two before the app recognizes the router and finally connects to it. Once the app has found your router, it's time to personalize your settings. Here, you can choose to keep the default router name and password or change it to something more personal and secure. Then you'll need to set up an admin password to secure your network. You'll also need to set up two security questions in case you need to recover your password. After completing these steps, the app will make you wait again while it finishes personalizing the network, but it shouldn't take that long. After, you'll be prompted to join the network from your current device, which will trigger another wait sequence. This one, thankfully, only lasted a few seconds for me. And that's it, you're done. You're connected and on the internet. As far as this router is concerned, setup is easy. In the past, we've had issues when connecting to certain routers from TP-Link or Aces. We even had an issue with the Netgear Nighthawk RX AE300, forcing us to reset the router before continuing. In comparison, setting up the RS700S was a walk in the park. The physical part of setting up the router only takes a minute or two. The hardest part is finding a place for it. The app setup definitely took a little longer. While it is slightly frustrating that there is so much waiting between steps, we didn't encounter any issues throughout the setup. Everything was simple and straightforward. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all things Wi-Fi routers. Thanks for watching.